join us as the client details his exploration into higher consciousness and various dimensional levels. This insightful video shares visions and feelings and revelations resonating with those who've had had similar experiences. Enjoy your time. Now ask him whether we are ready for um, Christ's self. Mm -hmm. And so smile like an idiot now. Yeah, and yeah, please. Here we are. Yeah, so since this crown sort of setting on me now, it it comes down, it has these energy lines. If it were a physical crown, there'd be these pieces of like whitish gold or pure gold coming down in the front. And then these, these uh, flutes and something that go up um like this uh, mm -hmm. uh energy streams energy streams like rays. They're, they're energy streams yeah and they're they just remind me of you know seeing it with like a, a crown of sort but it's uh it's it's golden energy whitish energy you know mm -hmm. it's if it's flowing, it's uh, yeah, active and kind of flowing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's chi flowing. Mm -hmm. And you know, you've probably seen in some iconographies where there's not just a round halo. You know, they also seem to be having rays in it. You know, and like you know, four. You know, they're kind of sticking out a little bit. You know, I mean, big chunks. You know, what you consider flutes. You know, this is probably what that is. Not radiance. You know, like rays coming up, but you know, chunks of light. Great, yeah, it's, you know, cr crown, you know, Christ, it means, you know, anointed, blessed, you know, with a crown. Mm -hmm. That's your connection to the heavens. Mm -hmm. right. So, like, bring this energy also into your legs and feet and hands. You know? And, of course, down the spine first, yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah, incorporating is that's the trick. Do you? It's moving into your arms now. Hmm. Yeah, Whew, that feels good. Let's get a pill of that. Then. So there's a peace coming over mm -hmm. the peacefulness yeah just allow that peace to come even stronger you know support this peace coming in yeah it's, it's a white light that's just coming down all through me now just everywhere mm -hmm. it's it's uh it's like i'm not resisting the flow now i'm just i'm just letting it come into me peacefully yeah 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 and i'm not resisting it um, the energy streams go away, but and now it just becomes a white uh, glow throughout. Mm -hmm. And I'm just uh, I'm pulling it in from everywhere. It just I'm pulling it in from like the stars, like you say, the Milky Way. It's not just the Milky Way galaxy that's. I'm at the reference point of the Earth here, and it's it's cycling around us, or we're uh, cycling around it. But there's also just you know everywhere is this coming in in splotches of white and just sort of clean, collecting to me. So let's um, ask that first of all, you know, this be used as energy for updating you and purifying you. And then we you know we ask that you be shown how to use it in service. You know, there might be areas in this world that need some <laughs> Christed energies. Mm -hmm. And so, but let's just, you know, get you suited up. 
Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we asked him to let you know, and then, you know, we brought from there. And we also asked that your wants be anointed. Mm -hmm. So, I feel like I disappear into the light. It's uh, it's just sort of I'm merged into it. Um, I'm less of a separate set of chakras um, mm -hmm. now and more consumed in this. Uh, it doesn't even really take the form of my body. It's just more of a shimmering stream of light that just you know passes totally through me and i'm just standing in sort of an energy flow mm -hmm. you have become one with that that's good mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this is an illusion that sense of being separate you know which yeah is, it's it's you're not separate anymore you're you're part of the stream flow mm -hmm. uh and it's um I recognize it. I've, I've actually been here before with the the medium in Florida. It I felt it approach is like this roaring sound as a an energy roaring, and then it just sort of took me, and I felt like I was out of body. But I, I guess I was actually just in this energy flow, and that's what she, she was trying to put me into to see this. So I, I'm, I'm kind of starting to recognize it again. It's, it's nothing but it's whiteness everywhere. It's just uh, whiteness, you're lost in it, but you're also it at the same time. You're not, you're not necessarily lost. You're just, you're home. you've become, yeah, you're part of it. You're home. Yeah. To see how wide it goes, how wide you can expect, you know, you're surrounded by eternity. It's just everywhere. It's, uh, there's no, I don't, I mean, it, I don't really see an end to it. It's, uh, it's, uh, the men feel it, you know, just feel it, you know, just feel it. It's just the perception. You have to relax into it. It's I feel some resistance, and you know, and maybe um, let your hands down so you relax your hands. You know, you're holding them up. Mm -hmm. Just let them rest. And you, uh, there you go. Oh, yeah, and, and I see a portal too. At the same time, it's a ring of uh, red, white. So I'm going to try to go into this portal and see what it does. You ask the Christ light to protect you and guide you. Yes. There you go. And so now it's more than whiteness. It's. Um, Lots of different. It's like you're entering into this cloud, white cloudish, but there's. You start to perceive uh, all sorts of energies around you. Um, uh, they move. Um, uh, sort of like what you see in TV sometimes blobs of different colors and energies. Um, Mm -hmm. I see in unknowing what are those, are those other entities, are those thought forms. I'm trying to relax more to um, Yeah, and so you can see representatives of people. Um, they're, I think it's just 
helps me understand that they're the forms of of other people. They wear, it's like they wear white robes with gold, um, gold um, linings or accents. Send them some uh, salsa. Send them some salsa. Ooh, and when I do that, then I become that. And I, it's like I'm been shown a, you walked into a, 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 a you walked into a suit, <laughs> Suits or Us, and it's like I'm watching, I'm actually looking at my, uh, a, a suit to put on, and, and I look now and I'm wearing it. I went into the uh, men's warehouse, I guess, or the spirits warehouse, I guess you call it. And um, so now I wear it, and I'm, I'm wearing this white robe with these gold, um, you know, borders. Sure it's not and, open in the back. You know, make sure it's not. Yeah, it's not a luckily not a hospital gown. <laughs> like, you know, it's embarrassing. Um, and a crown. So I feel this crown, and it's it's like gold. It, it's but it's energy. It's not physical gold, it's energy that's represented by gold as purity, power. Um, it's, and then I, so now I see these images of some of what you see in some of the Catholic churches and things like that, where you, you see this heart, uh, where the heart is, uh, Radiant, radiant, and it, it the so my heart is radiant now. Um, just smile, uh, just send some love to everybody, source love to everybody. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. And now there's this. Uh, not a robe, more of a cape, maybe a robe, purplish with gold and uh, gold and symbols, uh, uh, gold uh, patterns, symbols, and then there's a staff. Um, the staff has a, a large stone at the top. It's uh, it reminds me of lapis lazuli. It's very big. Uh, the staff is, and at the top, there's like a clear quartz crystal. Ooh, scepter, huge scepter. Uh, some sort of scepter. So I'm looking at that. I'll put love into it, as you say. I think that's probably something I'm supposed oh, yeah. to put on. So I'll super, try that. Super up. You know, give it like at least 12 or more good hits <laughs> of love than the ones I gave it to you, too. So now I'm wearing it. And there's this, it, it goes on like a cape, but it, it goes all the way to the floor, and it's uh, a gold clasp around my neck. I guess it keeps it from falling off. Um, I've got this scepter, um, and in my left hand, I'm holding up a gold cross uh, that's uh, glowing with white light around it. Um, uh, so now this, uh, the, now it's like I'm, uh, there's a portal opening and, um, uh, it's almost like you're standing there at that Christ statue at Rio de Janeiro where you're way up in the clouds up there looking down on, uh, you know, the earth or city. Levitating, yeah. Levitating. Uh, you're it definitely, uh, up up high, just kind of looking down at things. Um, so I'll put love into that. It's going to take quite a bit. <sighs> yeah, soup up with love. And you see almost like uh, some days when the the clouds open up and the sun starts just, uh, as the clouds move, the sun just sort of 
spreads across the ground. You see this uh, large, uh, you know, sunshine uh, going, uh, you know, filling the earth and the clouds uh, leave, so to speak. It's a visual, mm -hmm. I guess, sort of a spreading of uh, sunlight, happiness, those sort of things. All right, good. So it looks like we're getting to the service now. Mm -hmm. And let's start with a small project that you can easily handle. Let's not go straight to the Ukrainian war here, you know, but no. just, you know, <laughs> complicated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. You know, and, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on, <laughs> a lot of demons here. You know, it's not a good mm. first time. Now, let's bless something really positive. You know, that would be good. Uh, let's bless the oceans and uh, oh. try to retrieve the Plastic. harm we've done between um, microplastics, um, trash, um, the rising CO2 levels, things like that, that's starting to damage the ecosystem of the oceans and kill the fish and the whales and different things about trust everybody you know, it's it's and it's going to kill us so try to bless the oceans so that they can recover that that organisms that we adapt that we the earth adapts that we have organisms that come to the oceans and start Digesting the microplastics and turn them hard into harmless harmlessness. That the earth is adaptable and can recover. They found bacteria that can do it in, I mm -hmm. mean, in two, de in two so days. We're, you, know, you asked it as technology. So, so we're going to start spreading that through the oceans to recover the oceans. Mm -hmm. We're going to, uh, if we can't stop the CO2 rise and the heating up of the oceans where we're losing oxygen and the fish are dying, then let's have, let's have more plankton growth and microbe growth that dissolves the CO2 and uses sunlight and creates more oxygen in the water so that the fish survive. No so, <laughs> exactly. Restore the ocean so that we don't all die. And spread the beauty of the capability of the earth to respond to different to different challenges to respond and recuperate and life is Life recovers and life goes on. We adapt through the DNA chains, the different energies, the response of the DNA molecule to the environments as it was made to do. The new life forms come in to rebalance the earth so that it's habitable for us and everything here. Because the energy, the energy is life. The, the energy is the uh, stream of life in the universe. I want to thank the whales for their great population work. You know, I mean, it's just amazing how they endear themselves to people. You know, they're really putting out. <laughs> you know, I just really. I want to thank him for the courage and for this. Also, the dolphins mm -hmm. that made me friends with people. Mm -hmm. So now I see uh, coming out of myself, um, kind of the physical body. So, well, not physical body, but out of the energy body, energy being that I am. Uh, high high energy levels um, uh, 
uh, out into the oceans. It's like the sunlight, once again, breaking through clouds and starting to shine, shine into the depths of the water. And the energies of healing and recuperation are, are spreading into the waters. I'm actually going to ask Neptune to assist in this work. Mm -hmm. Mm, it's coming in. Yeah, and I feel like I'm spreading beyond now, not just by my body, but beyond the planet. Um, Um, and you see less of a physical, you know, representation of the, of the sun, the planets, the solar systems, the galaxy here and the others. You, you see less of a physical representation with the round solids and all that kind of stuff, but you see more of now uh, energy patterns Flow. of different sources flowing Flow. out. Mm -hmm. uh, Try to interact with love, you know, with source love. With them. See if they respond. <laughs> and so when you do, when you uh, interact with source lovers, like these more white, uh, they look like cotton balls um, or big snowballs coming in that uh and and they're not just white they come in they're coming in different colors and they it's like a, uh, they're all attaching to you um and so the it, there's just more and more of this energy gain um are there updates as well there's updates for you this is information it's it's just more energy more and more energy and it's uh the pineal gland actually glows more and more with it. Um, and, you know, looking at my body separate, like it's separately now from me. Uh, and, you know, I'm, I seem to be different than my body now. I can see the body taking on more and more energy, uh, projecting out uh, through the pineal gland, crown chakra, and basically just, you know, like I'm a fuse, if you will, just all this energy is just flowing through me. Uh, but then I'm, it seems like now I'm existing in several different states, several different planes. I've got the body, and then I'm... I'm also in this state of this, you know, white energy. I'm also in this, all at the same time, I'm also in this, uh, wearing this, you know, these uh, robes and clothes and different things. And, um, and then I'm also in a plane of, it's like I'm in across several different planes now. Mm -hmm. I'm in, um, uh, I'm also in the the universal plane. Um, you can always feeling lots of yeah. energies. You can always look down the dimensions. <laughs> you know, um, you know, you can you always from the highest dimension. You can always see all the lower dimensional aspect. From the lower dimensional aspect, to look up, 
and it's more difficult. So amongst all this white, there's there's also another energy level that I'm starting to come into. Uh, and it's very much um, uh, sort of a, a very goldish color. It, it reminds me of when uh, we went through the session, we had Sarah Swati, mm -hmm. and she sort of sat down parallel with me. And we fused at the um, pineal gland. And it, there was this washover of just pure, you know, gold energy, I want to call it this. It's, it's a goldish color like the sun uh, that just uh, is very powerful. And it, so now it, it seems like that's becoming more predominant. And it's even a higher level um, than uh, than what I've been through so far. It's like I'm moving through these different inner dimensions. Um, uh, so now I'm into this. Uh, very high state that's um instead of being in a in a in white everywhere now it's i'm in this gold everything is just gold around me um it's like you're in gold water and uh you see the light there's a light from an even higher source that sort of filters through the water it's like you're down in the water and you can see the the rays of light sort of bending and shooting through the the water. Except this this is gold it's kind of a goldish color, yellowish gold. It's like there's gold powder all in the fluid. And there's these rays of light above it, sort of sparkling down and shining down through it. And uh, so I guess I'll try to go to this next uh, state uh, above that, which is this light Apparently a light source. Is that you always hear that in the movies? Go towards the light, I guess. Go for the light. Mm -hmm. Go for the <laughs> not the Miller so, light. Go the light. <laughs> yeah, no, not that one. Uh, let's see. Let's see what this is now. Um, pump, pump more source love. Let me make sure you know. Mm -hmm. There you go. So it's like you come up now. Uh, you're you were bathing in this gold uh, liquid. It's like a liquid gold, and you're you're coming up out of it now, and you're into this uh, this very bright light. You can look across the surface of the uh, of this ocean of gold, I guess, and there's just this very bright light that's um, it, it's kind of like looking at the sun. It, it's just shooting out rays in every direction. Um, the sky is there a sky? I see the I see the gold liquid around me, and I come up out of it. And this the energy coming from this source light is just it. I don't see like a a sky like you know you might see the sky the sun in the sky. The sky's blue and all that. It's this this light this covers up everything, so there's just this light, there's a source of the light there, and then there's just all this gold liquid around everywhere. Send so, some into the source light. Mm. Mm, that feels like welcome to the next level. <laughs> So it's in the next level, and it's just bright everywhere. Let's see. Um, I look at my feet, and I just see my feet wearing sandals for whatever reason. Whatever this place is, I guess sandals are what you wear. So saints always wear sandals. Uh, I'm looking into the source, but then I realize that like the clothes, the source is me. So mm -hmm. I'm going to become that, that source. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, yeah. We the father of one. Mm -hmm. And so now I'm looking down into lots and lots and lots of dimensions and uh, from the from this standpoint I see lots of people uh, who have been here before. Uh, I look around. Um, I see an Egyptian looking person. Maybe it's Horus of Egypt. I don't know. Uh, I see. Uh, I see another Egyptian that looks like they're wearing that uh, Pharaoh sort of makeup stuff. The stripe you had. Mm -hmm. The stripes, yeah. Um, hmm. Are these others incarnations or are these so-called strangers or friends? I'm I'm in a room with a lot of people who have come here before, mm -hmm. and it's like you you made it to the uh, country club or something. Oh, that's no, uh, time to pass some cigars, you know, send some love, so slow. Some through. of these people are extremely ancient, uh, and. I don't recognize some of the, I've never seen some of these uh, representations of things they wear that, you know, you, some things we recognize Egyptians, uh, Sumerian, mm -hmm. uh, some of these I don't recognize. And one of these may be Atlantean or something, just an incredible thing they're wearing on their head. Let's we'll send uh, some love to that one, to the Atlantean and ask him. What, what did I see, which epoch does he represent? Um, he seems to be Atlantean. Um, he achieved uh, this purity and perfection in himself. Um, And, and survived here um, beyond the destruction of the land. Mm. Um, there are people here that look like they come from like simple tribes, Amazonian um, tribes. Uh, you see uh, it in each case, everybody has reached here through purification of themselves mm -hmm. to where that they purify and no longer block all these energies from coming through them um, and connect into these uh, energies and sources and it's more than that, it's um, a consciousness and awareness. Uh, it's, it's a way of looking at ourselves that, you know, recognizes the, for what we are, you know. It's uh, something we, like a Senate Masters Club, something like that, right? Yeah, and it's... Um, It's like an eternal place, uh, an eternal state of mind. Yeah, We're living, living uh, where things that come here uh, are not only come from physical bodies, but uh, Some things are a little hard to comprehend here. Sure. So ask whether, you know, you guys can work together. You know, I mean, I'm thinking about synergy. Ask to send some source love to everybody, you know, that you see. I mean, of course, we're the new kid at the block, but try to do a good impression. So, and, you know, we maybe, you know, 
send a little love and light you know to earth you know maybe we can all work together here the strength is in the faith if you will that uh despite the things that happen to you in life with your physical body that you maintain this ability to come here and stand before it and become one with it um And there are lots of tests, you know, things, uh, things that will distract you. But it's it's relaxing in and accepting it, and um, at the same time, uh, you get the energy powers to um, be able to change. Uh, the physical matter mm -hmm. because it's the physical matter is a in a way a projection or at least another dimension um, I, I always like to think of an electric motor if we, we see the physical electric motor but if we had the right uh, sort of equipment to be able to look at only the power flowing through wires and then the the magnet magnetic fields flowing through the magnets and all the things we would see a different projection of the motor and the mm -hmm. power going through it we wouldn't see the motor and the magnets and the wires and all that we wouldn't see that at all we'd just see the power itself flowing through it and the magnetic fields interacting with the electrons and electrical uh, flows mm -hmm. and it's, it's kind of this way uh it's one's not necessarily a projection of the other it's just um they're different viewpoints or representations of the same thing mm -hmm. different ways of looking at it um So we ask you to be hanging out with this club as often and as long as possible, or come there for certain occasions only, or daily. See and thank also you know, everybody to accept you there. Mm -hmm. And it seems to be something that you're constantly in. It's not. It's it's allowing yourself to be able to relax and be there. It's always there. Uh, it's just reaching the state where you can uh, allow it in and be able to focus into it because it it gives you a totally different um, perspective. We're very much geared around our lives and our bodies and all the discomforts and things that go with it, and then we die. But the uh, this gives a um, <laughs> totally totally different perspective oh, yeah. once you're into these states uh, outside of the body. Mm. 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 And just run some more love with those people, you know, maybe in a circle, you know how to... Yeah, there we go. I always make friends. And there's higher dimensions than this. I can start seeing purples, purples and blues, sort of mm. above that, it seems like. Mm. 